Welcome to lesson 9 of our Free Code Camps Bootstrap section. This lesson is use the Bootstrap grid to put elements side by side. So Bootstrap uses a responsive grid system which makes it easy to put elements into rows and specify each element's relative width. Most of Bootstrap's classes can be applied to a div element. Here's a diagram of how Bootstrap's 12 column grid layout works. So you can picture like a our web page um, divided into these columns. There's 12 of them and you could kind of like play with them in different ways and, and position elements in your web page um, you know in, in certain ways like you can have um, everything separated into 12 or you could take up like a an eight column and then separate with a four column. This could be like your main page and then this could be like a side menu. Uh, you could divide it into three uh, separate parts of your page. So you could do different stuff. Um, it says note that in this illustration the column MD class is being used here MD means medium and the asterisk is a number specifying how many columns wide the element should be in this case the column width of an element on a medium sized screen such as a laptop is being specified in the cat photo app that we're building we use column extra small where XS means extra small like an extra small mobile phone screen and Asterisk is the number of columns specifying how many columns wide the element should be. So put the like, info, and delete button side by side by nesting all three of them within one div class row. Then each of them within a div uh, class column extra small for. So we come down here to where our button is. Actually the buttons are up here. So we want to put them in a div, so we put a div around our buttons. And then the next one go here. Okay, and then, so your button should all be nested within the same div with class row. So we give that div class row. Second, each of your bootstrap buttons should be nested within its own div element. So we need to actually put divs around our, where's the button? Oh, it's right there. So each one of these need their own individual div. So that would go there and here. <clears throat> and then this one also needs its own div. And, and the div. And this button. Div. And we need one more here. Okay. So now each of our buttons have their own div and we want to specify a column extra small four. So class equals column extra small four. We want to apply this class to these other ones. Now if we check it out, should be it. Boom shakalaka.